Today's word of the day comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 6. 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 6. It says, now David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters, but David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. There's going to come a time in our walk with the Lord, if we haven't already experienced it, uh, whether we are our parent, whether we are um, a supervisor in a workplace, whether we have a ministry where we're uh, responsible for leading people, whatever it is, there's going to become a time when we are have a responsibility and uh, things will happen and we will be the one to take the persecution for it uh, because people are going to be grieved and they're going to re react from the flesh and we'll be accused and so forth. Uh, but David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Let's look at this story and see how it all happened and see how that could happen to all of us as well. So we'll pick it up from verse one and go to all the way to verse eight. It says, now it happened when David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day. Now they'd already been out there fighting battles against the enemy and they were coming back to where their families were. That the Amalekites had invaded the South and Ziklag, attacked Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken captive the women and those who were there, from small to great. They did not kill anyone, but carried them away and went their way. Now the Amalekites, as we know, if you've been with us for any amount of time, represents the flesh. And so we too uh, may be busy doing whatever we're, our responsibilities are, and those that we, uh, our family, our, our employees, our people that we minister to, they too can get attacked, whether it's by spiritual forces or basically the flesh itself. And they can be taken, carried away captive. They can be removed. They can, lots of things can happen to people uh, because of their own struggles, their own battles. And yet the one who is leading can a lot of times take the blame as we see here. So David and his men came to the city and there it was burned with fire and their wives, their sons, and their daughters have been taken captive. Then David and all the people who were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep. And so we can be this way as well. When we see our children, our, our work situation, our ministry, all of these things can just look like, oh my goodness, the enemy has decimated everything and it's so bad. And David's two wives, Ahinoam, Ahinoam, the Jezreelitess, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the Carmelite, Carmelite, had been taken captive. Close people, close that we've been ministering to or, or raising up as children. Now David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him. Look what happened. They were out fighting the war. They were doing ministry. They were doing their work. And all of a sudden, David is the one taking the fall for this because of what happened. But David didn't notice. He didn't argue back. He didn't justify himself. He didn't fight back. He strengthened himself in the Lord his God. This will come to us in our walk with God, in our ministry. And we will be blamed for things because people will not understand what's happening. But David did not fight back. He strengthened himself in the Lord his God. He never turned to them the, the rest of the army there and, and scolded them or justified himself. Then David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, please bring the ephod here to me. And Abiathar, Abiathar brought the ephod to David. The ephod was where they had the Urim and Thummim, and that is where they would check to see what God's answer was. So uh, if, if one came out, it was a yes, and one came out, it was a, it was a no. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And that's always what we should do in anything we do, is to seek first 
God's leading and find out if he, he wants us to do something. And he answered him, pursue, for you shall surely overtake them and without fail recover all. Amen. Praise the Lord. No matter how it looks, no matter how desperate or it looks like everything is lost, God will use those who put their trust in him to recover everyone and everything because God is good. Praise the Lord. We jump forward to see the evidence of this in verses 17 through 19. Then David attacked them. How do we attack the enemy? Through prayer and intercession and the word. He attacked them from twilight till the evening of the next day. Not a man of them escaped except 400 young men who rode on camels and fled. So David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives. Everything that the flesh caused people to uh, turn from God's plan, to fail, fall into sin, and be taken captive, all those things, David recovered them all as Jesus does with us. And nothing of theirs was lacking, either small or great, sons or daughters, spoil or anything which they had taken from them, David recovered all, as Jesus will recover all as well. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We, we thank you that we you're, you're showing us that we are going to take the blame for things that we have no real control over. And we thank you for the example of David, Lord, that rather than trying to prove that he it wasn't his fault, rather than trying to say, explain why it was their fault or anything like that, or just being angry and offended, he turned to you and you strengthened him and you used him to restore all things. We ask you to do the same in us. Whenever the enemy comes, and, uh, and and tries to mess with things, and we start getting accused falsely, and we start getting persecuted, turn us to yourself, Lord. You know truth, and you turn us to you so that we would, uh, that we would just trust you and offer ourselves up as your hands and feet, and then you will restore all things, Lord. We just thank you for that. Make this the reality of our lives. And bring glory to your name through all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day.